I'm building a future where women will support each other, regardless of age, race, sex, gay, straight, or religion. Throughout my life, I have been fortunate to be engaged with issues relative to the elimination of racism and sexism and other groups of individuals who are often forgotten, like people with disabilities. As a transportation professional, I am responsible for providing rides for people who really need the service the most. Persons with disabilities, they have been overlooked in the areas of employment and education because there are those who think they are unable and incapable of doing a job or of learning. Discrimination is also prevalent in education. There's this misconception that poor and or minority children are incapable of performing well academically. As president of the Columbus Board of Education, I preside over the largest school district in the state of Ohio. The work is hard, complicated, but rewarding. In addition to making policy decisions for the district, I've had the opportunity to mentor children and encourage them to be their best by focusing on their education. Every time I participate in a high school graduation, I'm reminded of my purpose on the board and can see the fruits of our labor. There's still much more civil rights work to be done on behalf of those whose society has written off. If you can afford the time, work with a child to improve his or her reading skills, or if you can visit someone in a nursing home. If you really want to give a present to yourself, do something for someone else. I promise you, there is no greater feeling. Thank you to the YWCA for this meaningful honor.